Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. It's almost New Year's Day. And y'all, let me tell you, this might not be no traditional New Year's Day dish, but I love me some banana pudding. Why not start the New Year out with some banana pudding? And yep, y'all, that's what I'm making me some old school banana pudding. Old school way with the milk and the stove and the sugar and all. It's like grandmother, mama, big mama, big papa, whoever else used to make banana pudding. That's what I'm doing. Very simple, y'all, what I'm doing. Very easy as well. It's, it's nothing hard about making old school banana pudding. Let me tell you what I got. I got to, we got to have the Miller. Don't get no food club wafers. Don't get no... Uh, off-brand store, you have to have Nilla wafer. It is not, it's night and day different than your banana pudding. Do the Nilla. Take that extra dollar out your pocket that you got in, uh, putting in there to buy your pack of cigarettes and go on and put it on these Nilla wafers. Don't be, Kenneth, don't be using Food Club crackers, Kenneth. Don't be using no uh, uh, Ritz crackers, Janet. <laughs> but this is what you need, Nilla wafer. Okay, going with some bananas. I like my bananas about that color, just like that. Not right, over right, but I want them not green as well. And people say, how long banana pudding lasts in the refrigerator? If banana pudding been in your refrigerator more than two days, you ain't made no good banana pudding. If it's, I'll say it again, if it's been in your refrigerator after you make it more than two days, you ain't making good banana pudding. If you've been in there and your bananas done turned black, Cookers done got so soft, you don't know they cookers in your refrigerator after you make banana pudding. It ain't no good. You didn't make it good. It's horrible. Because if you make good banana pudding, it's not going to last more than two days. I tell people this all the time. They all ask, well, how long if, does it last in the refrigerator? Don't the bananas turn dark? My bananas ain't never turned dark in my banana pudding. Because it ain't been in there long enough to turn dark. So just letting y'all know. So anyway, vanilla wafers, bananas, granulated sugar. Regular whole milk. Got some cornstarch. I got some vanilla. I got some banana uh, flavoring. I got a little food coloring just in case the eggs don't get it yellow enough. And then I got six whole eggs here. Very simple, very easy, y'all. I'm going to put that milk in here first. Get it going. Get this milk, milk heating up. We're going to make the custard for this. That's all we doing. That's all we doing, y'all. Making a good custard for this. Hold that in there. Get that going. In the meantime, we're going to move back over here. And we're going to take our sugar and mix it with the vanilla. Not vanilla. Come on, Chef Jeffrey. We're going to take our sugar here. And we're going to mix the cornstarch in here with the sugar. Then we're going to add all that to the, to the milk. We're going to let all this come up to a boil. The reason I'm adding the cornstarch in here so it don't lump up. Gonna lump up on us. There we go. Okay. Now, moving back over here. Now I'm gonna add this sugar cornstarch right in the milk and let it come up to temperature together. Now you must watch this, y'all. Once this sugar start, this milk start heating up, which ain't gonna take long. You must watch it because what it is is going to start thickening up and you don't want to scorch your milk and your corn. Once you scorch this, you can't fix it. You got to start over. And once it start thickening up, I'm going to lower the temperature a little and then we're going to add that we're gonna, what we call tempering. We're going to add a little hot liquid to the eggs and bring the eggs up to temperature and uh, throw that back in there and that's going to be our custard. And then we're going to add our flavors right at the end. But, uh, that's how simple it is, y'all. That's how simple it is. So we'll be right back in just a second. Once we start thickening up, we'll go to the next step. Old school banana pudding, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. While the milk is heating up, y'all, I'm going to uh, nice up my banana. I'm going to get my banana sliced up here. Keep an eye on my milk. The bananas, no big deal. Nothing about the size when you cut bananas, y'all. Cut that half off there. Get rid of this. Just peel these bad boys. Alrighty. And 
I just put them up against each other just like this, y'all. Just like that. I just go down just like that with it. Just like that. Make sure you don't cut your hand off like I did a couple of months ago. And that's it. You can squirt a little lemon juice on them if you want. But they ain't going to be sitting out to oxidize too quickly. Watch my, watch my pot over here, y'all. Definitely doing that. I don't want to do what I told y'all not to do. Take that off of there. Like I said, y'all, I only use about six bananas. That's all this usually would need. Alrighty. This last one here, and then we're going to be ready to ready to add the that's it that's it y'all bananas are sliced and ready wash my hands off here let me check my milk over here oh yeah it's about ready y'all about one more minute so I got bananas ready Cookies is ready there. All we do is waiting on the custard over here. Let's move y'all back over here. Like I say, this don't take long at all for this, this stuff to thicken up. Don't take long at all, y'all. So I see, I don't see why people don't make their own, own banana pudding. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. It's got to pick it up a little bit more. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. And y'all see how this is sticking up a lot? See that? See how that's sticking up? Now, what we want to do, we're going to take some of that hot liquid here and pour into the, to our egg. We want to kind of whisk that up there. She just mixed really, really good. But if you throw that uh, eggs in here and it's in, uh, right into the hot liquid, you're going to make scrambled eggs, y'all. So you want to do that. Then you add it right in here into the custard. Just like that. That's going to give you your pudding just like that. Voila, you're going to have banana pudding. It's not banana pudding, but you're going to have pudding. Turn the fire back up. We're gonna let this cook. Let them eggs cook about five minutes or so. Then we're gonna add our we're gonna add our uh, vanilla to this flavoring to this. We're gonna let this cool a little. Then we're gonna assemble our pudding. So anyway, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. We turn this down just a little. Now we're gonna add our shit. See how it's popping, y'all? Mad at you. And my little banana extract in there. We're gonna add our vanilla extract. Put vanilla in there. Oh yeah, it smells amazing, y'all. Smells absolutely amazing. And I like to put just a little yellow, make it a little bit yellowy. A little yellow food coloring in there. And there we go. Add that little yellow tang to it. And that's it. That is it. We're going to turn this off. rubber spatula we can get all them, them edges out of there there we go there we go how pretty how pretty is that pudding y'all how pretty is that pudding all right y'all let me get this out the way and we're gonna pour this in a bowl over here kind of let it hang out a little bit and then we're gonna assemble this bad boy move y'all over here i got my bowl right there like I said, we're just going to kind of pour it in the bowl here. Kind of let it hang out a little bit. 
Let it hang out a little bit here. Scrape all that goodness out of there. Oh, yeah. I'll be out of your way in a second. There we go. There we go. That nice pudding right there, y'all. Nice pudding. Mix that up in there. Now, I'm going to let this kind of hang out here about 15, 20 minutes. And then we're going to come back. I like to do it while it's a little warm. So we're going to come back here in about 15, 20 minutes. And we're going to assemble this banana pudding. Old school banana pudding. Be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. All right, y'all. Get this little stir here. I'm going to say, this still a little warm, but that's fine. This thing ain't going to take long to cool off. I love it a little warm now. Because it makes the... Uh, that pudding just soak into the bananas and the cookies and ooh, absolutely amazing. All right, y'all. What I like to do, now you can assemble this however you want to assemble it, y'all. It's up to you. I put a little pudding on the bottom. Give them a little spat to go across this. There ain't nothing and no, no rule. No rule how you do this. I'll put a little bananas here on the bottom, of course. Spread it evenly as you can. There we go. Now let me get my cookies out and pour in a bowl. It's easier for me to handle. I'll pour them all out in a bowl here. Just like this. It's a lot easier for me to handle. All righty. in here and we're just gonna keep going now, it's boring for TV but you might see me watching me assemble a banana pudding but and I like to put the flat point down y'all as much as possible I mean, you do you alrighty all right a little pudding on here you get it even as possible. Homemade, y'all. Nothing like homemade banana pudding, right? Nothing like homemade banana pudding. Kind of mash that down in there like that. And like I say, that, that pudding just soaks into the into the cookie. It makes it so so go good. Bananas here. Make sure your hands is clean when you're handing handing. Oh, 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 oh. Handing on your, your, your bananas, y'all. I'm gonna do one more layer. Got one more layer of pudding to go. Y'all do the cookies? I ain't do the cookies, y'all. Y'all didn't tell me. Yep, yep, you didn't do the cookies. See, I messed up. Doesn't matter, y'all. Get it in there, how we get it in there. And I ain't gonna put any more cookies till the top layer, y'all. I'm gonna save the cookies for the that cookies for the top layer so it looks nice and pretty. Okay. I'm gonna put the rest of the pudding on here. Spread it around. Like I say now, there's no art, no rule, none of that. Gotta put some more banana. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. The rest of the bananas on there. Get them mashed in there. And then we're gonna put our, put our cookies right on top of the, get them mashed in there. Then we're gonna finish it with the cookies. There we go. Make sure you got some pudding on top of the bananas. Look at that, look at that, y'all. Damn, that ain't no goodness, huh? Tell me that ain't no goodness. Okay. Now we're going to go back with the last layer of bananas, y'all. Just to make it make it look pretty here. Hold on. Now, this one I really try to be kind of precise with it. Hopefully I got enough cookies to spread it all on there. 
Might have messed up, y'all. Put too many cookies already. On this side, I think I got enough here. I think I'm gonna make it. I think I'm gonna have enough. I think so. I think so, y'all. I think so. I think we're gonna have enough to cover it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And those little crumbs, y'all. You can kind of sprinkle a little, a little crumbs in there. You kind of sprinkle that on there. Garnish. That's your little garnish there. See that? Ooh, that little garnish. There we go. A little garnish there. All right. There we go. Now, I'm gonna put this in the, now, this is something I really, now, I, I've had co-workers eat their banana pudding warm. I know a lot of people eat warm banana pudding. Me, I gotta have it ice cold, y'all. It's got to be completely ice cold. I cannot eat warm banana pudding. It ain't like, oh, it's warm. I ain't even gonna say it like that. But my preference, I want my banana pudding ice cold out the refrigerator. I go to a restaurant, and of course, some of them all you can eat buffets. The, the pudding be room temperature. I just can't. It's, 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 it ruins the eating experience for me. So I'm going to put this in the refrigerator until it gets completely cold. And we'll be back and get us a bowl of banana pudding, y'all. Old school banana pudding for New Year's, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. I let my uh, pudding here get completely cold. Look at that, y'all. Look at that good old banana pudding. See how nicely it's set up. Got an old pan right there. And like I say, this will be gone in two days. Probably less than two days. It'll be gone. You see them nice vanilla wafers in there? The banana, you saw how I assembled it. So ain't a lot of get to going around here. Let's get to going in this pudding here, y'all. Get a good scoop there. That's New Year's, y'all. And this also Super Bowl. Uh, when I do my Super Bowl, it's one of my favorites, my old school banana pudding. It's going in. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, y'all. I'm telling you. What's better than some good old banana pudding? Starts the new year off. Some good old banana pudding. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. No better than that. Mm, mm, mm. Don't judge me, but I could eat a half of that in one day. Don't judge me, y'all. But anyway, do want to share that little dessert with y'all. Last dessert of the year. Uh, last Saturday morning dessert of the year. One more bite here. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm good eating now. So anyway, let me close the video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. You can follow me on the social media account, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TV, Pinterest, OldSchoolSoulFood.com. I'm going to hashtag 2023. Just show some kindness. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy, blessed weekend. And a happy, blessed new year. Love y'all. Bye.